What's up, sports bettors? I have six player props on prize picks, and then I also have um, three picks on underdog fantasy, where we've been running pretty hot. So we had a couple of these three pick entries to win $3,000 win, and then we also had a few hit yesterday. Here you can see one, three picks for 1,500, three picks for 1,500, three picks for 3,000. So we've been crushing underdog fantasy recently. So we're gonna be going through some fantasy plays. I got a lot of money on fantasy plays today. So let's go ahead, let's get into it. Now we're gonna be using Odds Jam to zone in on sharp bets. So for example, the first play I went with is right here with a super high profit margin. I played it in a four pick power play on prize picks. Anthony Mantha over one and a half shots on goal right? This play is absolutely insane. So it's free to browse odds on Odds Jam. So typically what I like to do when I started out sports betting is just open up the, you know, Odds Jam, you open up all the different markets you want to look at, and then you can just scan Odds Jam and look for value, right? So here you can see all of the sports books, which are sharper, more efficient betting markets are setting Anthony Mantha's you know, shots on goal line over one and a half as roughly a two to one favorite. You know, Pinnacle Sportsbook is laying minus 196 odds on this. So even though prize picks, you know, it's not a sports book per se, it's not like I can just pick one player prop and bet on one prop. What you'll notice is any four picks you select on this platform, it doesn't matter if you take overs or unders, you're going to be betting $1 to win 10. Any Four picks you select, right? If we replace this NHL play with an NFL play, it's $1 to win 10, right? So basically, if you're always betting $1 to win 10 in a four pick power play, then you're getting minus 128 implied odds. So basically, the way prize picks is making money is they're charging the implied juice of minus 128 on every over and every under in a four pick power play. Now on a five pick flex play, the math's a little complicated, but it's roughly minus 119 odds. Power plays are much more straightforward. So we can take a look at those is essentially when you're playing power plays on prize picks, any two pick power play, you're betting one to win three. So if we just pick two picks, what you're gonna notice is, you know, any two picks, we're betting one to win three. So in this case, the implied juice is minus 137. So if I cannot make typos, we're betting one to win three plus 200 odds. The implied juice on prize picks is minus 137 for a two pick power play, which is why you'll notice you'll see minus 137. You'll see different prices on odds jam for prize picks. But basically, whenever you're playing, you know, a four pick power play on prize picks, you can assume you're getting the implied juice of minus 128. So if you have three picks you like, you know, you should never play a three pick power play on prize picks. It always would make sense to play, you know, different iterations of two pick entries because the implied juice is better. But regardless, let's get back to my plays. So the first one is an absolute no brainer. I mean, you literally have to max this play. Anthony Mantha over one and a half shots on goal. You can see underdog has the line at two right so they have it and this is a very low distribution like the probability that anthony mantha has exactly two shots on goal where we're pushing on underdog and we win on prize picks if we took the over you know isn't small so this is an absolutely big jump so we see underdog fantasy has anthony mantha half a shot on goal higher all the sports books, we have one, two, three, four, four different data points all telling us, hey, this over for Anthony Mantha should be heavily juiced, should be a heavy favorite. You know, sports books imply win probabilities through their odds. So it's very clear we're getting a ton of value on prize picks, right? So that's definitely a play we want to go with. And obviously, this also indicates to you, you definitely don't want to take his under. Why on earth would you take Anthony Mantha under one and a half shots on goal on prize picks if you could play under two on underdog fantasy, or you could bet him under one and a half shots on goal at plus 146 on FanDuel, right? You have to be price conscious as a sports better. So you have to be looking for value. You know, the way to make money sports betting is not just trying to get rich quick. 
placing crazy parlays. It's finding bets with an edge where you're beating the market, right? We're getting minus 128 on this Mantha player prop in a four pick power play. We only know that because we know how prize picks works. We know how their payouts work. We know how they calculate payouts and what the implied odds are. And we know we're getting a ton of value when we take Anthony Mantha over one and a half shots on goal. When all the sports books are pricing something around minus, you know, 185 to minus 200, and you can get it in your prize picks entry, absolute no brainer. So next pick I went with, same reason, all the sports books have this shot on goal prop, heavily juiced, prize picks screwing up. And then here, they're screwing up on the under. We're getting Brendan Gallagher under two and a half shots on goal. All the sports books have the under heavily, heavily juiced. So we're using data to find value, find edges, right? That's how you make money as a sharp better. All Odds Jam does is it takes all this data from prize picks, all these NHL props, NFL props, everything like that. Odds Jam takes all these player props and then just compares them to the sports books to show you where there's value, right? So we can see right here, obviously getting Brendan Gallagher under two and a half shots on goal at minus 128 implied odds and a four pick power play is great value considering all the sports books have this juiced minus 168 to minus 171. This is a play you wanna be all over, all over, right? So you're kind of like an investor, right? You're looking for value. You're looking for stocks that are mispriced. Do I love watching the NHL? No. Why am I betting on the NHL? Because clearly that's where the value is on prize picks right now. Why am I betting on prize picks as opposed to underdog fantasy or thrive fantasy or DraftKings right now? Because the value's on prize picks right now. So that's why we're playing NHL props on prize picks. In the same way where if the marijuana industry gets really hot, investors start to focus on marijuana industry or crypto. It's no different in sports betting. You follow the value. If the value is in tennis, you bet on tennis, right? You have to be looking for value, looking for edges, looking for bets with an edge. And if you're doing that, you're going to make money in the long run. Maybe not every bet wins, but as a positive EV better, since all your bets have an edge, it's like finding a coin that's weighted in your favor. You know you are going to win long term. So the final prop I went with right here. Uh, Carell over three and a half shots on goal. Again, the profit margin of this prop is slightly lower. So what you can do is you can sort odds jam by like percent. So profit margin percent. You can filter out any sports books you don't use. You can filter for date ranges. Some people only like to bet on specific leagues. But I want to see all sports, all leagues, all markets. And I want to follow the value, follow the money. And here I'm just looking for four player props where we're beating right? We're getting minus 128 implied odds in a four pick power play. And there's just ridiculous value at minus 128. And clearly we were able to find four props like that, right? I mean, you know, this is kind of like you have one, two, three, four, like you have all these data points, all these sports books, sharper betting markets telling you where the line should be set minus 190 minus 180. And then you just have prize picks laying minus 128. So long story short, I took these four picks in a four pick power play right here. They also have, sh um, so we're betting a hundred to win a thousand. And then I have um, in a two pick power play is just this last prop because prize picks limits me to only betting a hundred dollars on each player. So I had to pick a new player for their little taco Tuesday promo, which is right here, right? Where they lower a player's point total. So now on Underdog Fantasy, for a three pick entry, we're getting implied odds of minus 122. So there are a bunch of strategies for making money on Underdog Fantasy and prize picks. Another one that I kind of like, which I'll show you, and it's a little bit of a secret, but you can do it with this free Odds Jam screen. So this is called a screen in basically any market you wanna look at. Let's see if this works. So not rushing touchdown. Let's say player passing yards. Let's try to go there. And let's see if it pulls it up. But anyways, so hopefully we can have another good day. We're getting minus 122 implied odds. As you can see on underdog fantasy is I went with Jake over two and a half shots on goal. So that's the first prop I went with. So sometimes earlier in the week, what you can do is you can catch these big discrepancies between prize picks and the sports books where they're setting, you know, passing prop lines. So what you'll notice right here is, you know, 11 yard difference for Mac Jones, four yards for Zach Wilson, not huge deals. Aaron Rodgers, nine yards. 
but you'll see sometimes there are some big ones. Here, Goff, 18-yard difference. Prize Picks has his line at 240 half, underdog at 258 half. But anyways, my three picks on underdog to keep this video relatively brief. Jake over two and a half, Mike over three and a half shots on goal. Again, I'm not overcomplicating my sports betting, right? I'm following the value. I'm following the markets, finding bets with an edge because following the math, that's how you make money, right? Don't trust your gut in sports betting. It's all about following the math, following the numbers. We're getting Gilgis Alexander under one and a half made threes at the implied price of minus 122 with a 2.37% profit margin. So you just place that bet in bold with a circle around it. That's the play you wanna be on. We're clearly getting ridiculous value at minus 122. Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker, has it minus 155. This is a play you gotta be all over. So hopefully this video was helpful. Um, locked in a few picks for today. So here we have my underdog entry, 125 to win 750 at the implied odds of minus 122. And then we have right here, my two picks on prize picks, right? So these are all hockey props. Let's make some money, guys.